Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac, the save file. I don't know why I said it like that, but there you go, I did. Uh, let's randomize our character and see who we might get today. We get the Lost to Delirium. Ugh. Okay, I guess we'll give it a go. Wait, did we do Delirium Lost already? I don't remember. No, we definitely didn't. Okay, so we could definitely try that. We could. It'd be good to get Boss Rush done as well. Yeah, let's jump in as the Lost. I enjoy him quite a lot. Um, I think default Lost is... Ah, it's, it's always hard to say. He is pretty easy, in a way, but he can be really. It really depends on your look of the draw, really. Obviously, you can still get HP up items, which is annoying, but you do start with the Eternal D6, which is pretty darn strong. I've been able to reroll off the bat is, like, really, really good. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. But yeah, he does start with the Holy Mantle, which means free curse rooms and the like. Um, a little bit scared by this. If I get hit by anything in here, I will die. Um, which is why I'm not going to pick up these cursed pennies, because that would be potentially tragic. Um, but we did get cursed die, which I'll reroll. Bad apple. Um, slight tears up. 8% chance for firing. 8% chance when firing for all tears on screen 10 to bad apples that deal half damage. See... That's not very good. It's it's a very, very low tiers up for that. I'm going to come back and re-roll that again. I realise there's a 30% chance that anything I re-roll will just disappear. But I still think better that than picking up Bad Apple, which could be... Like, I think it's like one of those things that's like not that bad when you initially read it. But if you get like a lot of tiers up and you're firing a lot of tiers, it actually could be pretty terrible. So I'd rather not take that right now. We've got an Empress here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We've also got a pill here. I'll take the pill. I'll risk it. I'll risk it. Pheromones. And we'll uh, we'll go back and try and re-roll that again. I'd like to get as many re-rolls in as I can. I'm sure it's going to disappear. Um, the Cursed Credit Card. Buying a Devil Deal item has a 35% chance to not cost hearts. Items which cost more hearts have uh, less chance to work, plus one back heart. That's really, really cool, but entirely useless for who we're currently playing as. Um, because our Devil Deals are free. They don't cost any hearts. Uh, but I really like the way that that works, and I can imagine that being really good for us. Can you calm down, fella? Good. Oop, didn't mean to. I, I might as well put my pennies in this now. I've already I've already touched it. It's happened. And bow. And yeah, we're getting a lot of charges here, so I want to try and utilize this as much as I can. Use the slowing effects on these guys. Elf. Just want to hit this thing. You're spewing out all your little children. Very annoying. Right, there's another charge. We will take that because reflected items are free for us. They just get rid of our holy mantle and nothing more. Uh, right, let's try and reroll this again. This is definitely going to disappear soon, but yeah, there you go. Oh, there's a crawl space in here. Did, is, is that been in there the whole time? I just didn't see it. Okay, thought I came back in, I guess. Um, what we got going on in here then? Um... Oh, wait. I was like, a whole lot of nothing, but there is a black market. Um, This is kind of tricky, because uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can only take one of these. Jumper cables is decent. I'm, I'm going to take car battery, which is not good with our current active. In fact, it's pretty terrible, because it just increases the chance that an item will disappear. It's up to like 60% chance for it to disappear now, pretty much. But... If we get a different active, which is really good, car battery is significantly better than anything else in there. It makes our current active a little worse, but it makes future actives potentially a lot, lot better. Also, car battery is just genuinely one of my favorite items, and I would be upset to not take it. As for the question of the day to day, um, hmm. As for the question of the day to day, what? not really got a good one in mind today. I should really open up my chat GPT window and take a little look. But what do you guys do? Do you guys shoot at me? Yes, you do. Um. Hmm. I'm having trouble thinking of one. Oh, God. Spawning fat spiders. It's not good for me. Okay, they did just kill themselves on some spikes. That certainly is helpful. Let's think of one as we, as we get through this fight here. Hmm. But yeah, unfortunately, car battery is going to make our um, our active somewhat useless. Um, I wouldn't say it's entirely useless, but it's massively increased the chance for us to lose an item. 
Um, okay, here's a decent question of the day. What's what's a risk you've taken recently? What, what's something risky that you've, you you think you or something that you think is risky that you've done recently? For me, I've just I've just sort of recently been a lot more sort of for forward in my job and like I wouldn't say it's super risky, but I've just been a lot more sort of like forward about my opinions of certain people and the way that certain things are done. Dude, this is so annoying. We're getting like. We're getting items that are just absolutely useless for the lost golden cancer. That's like six goddamn hearts that we can't get. Dead Sea Scrolls. Do I want to try reroll Dead Sea Scrolls? I will try it. Dude, this is like the worst lost run ever. Wait, did we go to our item room on the last floor? We didn't, did we? This has been terrible. This has just been absolutely terrible. I didn't even go to my item room. Power cloth is pretty good though. Yeah, this is this has not been uh not been a, a really, really good one for me. I, th I think it's because I was like so focused on that cursed room item that I kind of completely and the fact that I got the um black market as well, I kind of completely disregard the fact that I hadn't been to my um hadn't been to my actual item room yet. So this has been a, a real, real good run so far. I wouldn't be too upset if we lost this one and had to start again, I'll be honest, because uh, things aren't exactly going the way I would have hoped. Um, the Eraser is actually pretty good, but I don't think it does anything with uh, car battery. I don't see why it would. Okay, Quaker Oats. Again, this is a good active, but it doesn't do anything with uh, car battery. This is getting pretty damn frustrating now. We're getting a lot of trash. A lot of trash. This is not, not the lost run I was hoping for. But yeah, I think that's something that, like, I've, I've sort of learned recently, or, or sort of kind of adapted to recently. It's just been a lot more forward in my job, my career, about, like, if someone if someone that I work with or something, something like, in the company just isn't working, then I want to be sort of more outspoken about that, because I think it, it benefits everyone in the end of the day, and I don't, I don't want to be the sort of guy that, like, sprags on people for, like, being bad at their job, but at the same time, if it, if it causes me to do more work, or if it, like, causes the company to, especially as, as considering I work for a startup, if it causes more trouble for the company, then I want to be sort of forward about that. Um, so I've, I've, I've just been more forward about that sort of stuff recently, and I think it's been helpful. I hope it's been helpful, at least. And it's definitely made me feel a lot better, because um, I've been able to actually, like, air my grievances with certain aspects of the, uh, the, way, that we, the way that we've been doing things, and the way that things have been done in the past. Um, and it's made me feel a lot better about it. A blackout there. Got a bomb back. Right, another reroll for the thing that's constantly active. I honestly don't mind them being actives, but please be an active that I can actually use. That, that works with car battery and will be useful for us. Stop being, like, really bad ones. It's gone. Ugh. This is just tragic. This is just tragic. We've uh, we've really screwed the pooch on this one. And I'm sure many of you were cringing hard when I accidentally uh, ditched my item room on the first floor. Oh, Lord. I mean, we got Planetarium Chance, though. That's a bonus, I guess. That is something nice. I will not deny that the Planetarium Chance at least makes my, my cock up a little less annoying. Yeah, you, this is going to be a rough room, this. These things are going to be falling from everywhere and spewing stuff all over the place. Luckily, they don't fall directly on your head. They kind of fall randomly around the room. Take that. Hey, that makes me feel a little bit better. Bit of a tears up. There you go. I wanted to use a bomb on this guy, but I didn't want, to, I didn't want it to be a complete waste. I thought, hey, if I use a bomb on this guy, but I, uh, I lay down one of these prior. Feels like I'm walking on the sun. Okay, this is just invincibility. This doesn't actually deal any damage. I thought that was the case, but I couldn't remember. Holy shit, that's a, that's a lot of, uh, fire clouds there, my guy. This is genuinely a bit of a rough boss for us right now, because we've just got such low damage. Yeah, I really wanted to enter second phase, but really not coming to us quickly, is it? That certainly helps a little bit. There you go, second phase. Makes things a lot easier on us now. Like, I used to think this boss was the absolute worst in this floor, but I actually don't mind him so much anymore. 
I think that Wormwood can be a lot more frustrating just because Wormwood can do um, do some stuff where he jumps at you in ways that you wouldn't expect and causes some issues. Whereas this guy's, his first phase is annoying, but it's definitely more predictable. Um, and if you have at least decent speed, like at least base one speed, you should be okay. When you have really low speed, it can be a real bummer. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to take that. And devil deal wise, Sin Robes is decent here. It's just damage. I can't believe I missed that. How the hell did I walk past that? Some damage at least. Good, good. Extra speed and uncleared rooms here is just really nice in general. I'm very happy to have that. Um, and let's keep going. Let's keep going. But yeah, I feel like that's something that kind of everyone does when they, um... Ooh, Mr. Dolly, yes, please. Something that everyone does when they first sort of start out a job, or just in general, like, early in their career. It's a lot harder to be, like, forward and, like, forthcoming about your opinions, because you're kind of... You might think it's, it's sort of risking your own job, or you don't want to be sort of sprag. You don't want to be the person that tells on everyone. But I think it's... Uh, or, or, like, e even just in stuff like where it's, like, trying to get paid more, stuff like that, people are a lot more, like... Under, it's it's sort of about like undervaluing yourself I think I think a lot of people tend to and I like I've definitely done it as well you kind of undervalue your own worth and undersell yourself and so like you want to go for like a promotion or you want to go for you want to ask for extra pay but you sort of you negotiate you negotiate yourself lower than you're actually worth and it's kind of you got to realize how much value you add especially in a situation like I'm in where um our company is technically still a startup. We've been going at it for a few years now, but it is technically still a startup. It's like, in the situations like that, you kind of got to realize that I'm in a situation where I do a lot of work for the company, and so I need to value that work that I do higher than I do so that I can, like, go for braces and stuff like that and not feel like I'm out of line going for that, because you're not. And that, that it kind of goes for a lot of jobs. Obviously, there's some way you're just sort of working in a, a company doing 9 to 5, and you're just desk jockey sort of guy. Them ones are a little harder because, unfortunately, in those companies, you are pretty much just a number. Um, I wouldn't want to work at a place like that, but I know a lot of people do. Work is work. You just got to do what you got to do. Um, but in those places, it's a, little, it's a little bit harder to do that sort of thing because, yeah, you are just kind of a number to the company and you're not much more. But when you're, like, actually, like, a sort of person that is pretty vital to operations in general or, like, you're just someone that's, like, valued in the company, you've got to sort of not be taken advantage of and realize especially like in the uk at the minute like there's a cost of living crisis for us um things are just the, the prices of everything are just going up and up and up and up and up constantly and everything's getting really expensive and i live in an area that's reasonably expensive as well um so it's just kind of like really sort of thinking to yourself like like for one do you need more money which is probably yes and like do you think you're worth it which is hopefully should be probably yes as well We'll get Whipworm here. Whipworm's pretty good. Like the extra shot speed. Shot speed is rather nice. We'll get an item from this, won't we? Yes, we will. Oh, two soul hearts. Unfortunately, just a lot of hearts here. Don't really do too much for us, do they? But yeah, Mystery Sack here. Definitely not upset about Mystery Sack. Ooh, we got a, a rare poop. A rare poop there. What do these guys do? I don't remember these guys. Yeah, it's definitely, a, like I said, it's definitely a difficult thing to sort of... I think it's just hard in general, especially early in your career, to see your own value and value your own value. But yeah, definitely someone that I've worked with recently sort of taught me a bit about that. Um, and I'm de definitely making sure to make that more of a priority. Because at the end of the day, like, you've got to make enough to, like live a comfortable life and I, I, I would say I'm already reasonably at that point but like that is sort of prior to the prices and everything raising as much as they currently are like kind of need to I, I now need to sort of make sure I'm getting enough to make up for the fact that I'm paying out more in rent and paying out more in bills and paying out more in food because like in actual fact you might I might be earning more but I'm getting less because the money that you get just doesn't go as far as it used to, which is just, yeah, it's annoying. And then as well, like, I'm sort of at the time in my life now where I need to be kind of looking at getting a house, thinking about that sort of stuff. Um, and that's getting harder and harder. Like, 
as anyone that's it, like around my age will know, getting a house is not something that is easy at all right now. It's in fact pretty goddamn difficult. Oh, did I just boop that bomb out of the way of him? That's really annoying. Um, getting a house at the minute is pretty much impossible. They're so expensive. Um, like w where I live, I'm probably looking at around 300 to 400 thousand for a house, um, which is insane. So it's just it's just kind of getting a bit ridiculous. We'll definitely take that. I'll try re-roll this. We lost it. It's fine. I, I kind of knew that that was a possibility. Um, at this point, I'm really looking for another active. I'm hoping Devil Deal can give me something good. I'm not really sure what I'd get from a Devil Deal, but I'd like to go for something from there. Um, yeah, and so it's like trying to make sure I earn enough to like, and, and me and my girlfriend, not not just me, but make sure we earn enough so that like getting a house is actually viable within our lifetime uh, <laughs> is also another big concern. What's this do? Stat cap shows increased chance. Okay. Thank you. A bit more money. Lovely. I think I'll stick with perfection. We don't have anything that works with perfection yet, obviously, apart from just extra room drops. But items wise, perfection isn't doing much for us. But, like I said, you never know. We might get something down the line that really works for us. Something in the devil deal. Perhaps we'll get, like, Ocular Rift or something. It'd be rather nice. Demon Baby. It's not great, but I'll take it. I just I don't think it's too big of a risk to re-roll it. Squeezy's great, we'll take that. Anything to up our fire rate right now. I like this rework of the stain. It's it, he's he's definitely got some danger, but he's also got like a that phase, like this one here, which is actually now a, a phase that makes it I wouldn't say easy to hit him, but it gives you a bit more of an opportunity to hit him. And he likes that attack a lot apparently. Wow. Okay, this guy's going to be fairly easy but annoying. I'm going to try and get Demon Baby in there where I can keep him as close to the boss as plausible. Because Demon Baby actually does pretty decent damage. It's just actually getting him in, getting him in there to do enough attacks. Hopefully we get like BFF in the shop or something. Because we do have quite a bit of money right now. So certainly plausible. Got to be careful for the bombs. He does have, honestly, Demon Baby does have more range than you'd expect to. Yeah, we got him. Good, good. Squeezy has been gained. I like it. Do you have Spectral? I don't think you have Spectral, do you? You do not have Spectral, good. Good. And with room drops, we're going to be getting crazy amounts. I'm going to take pills at this point. Pills have been working for me so far, so let's just take more. Froggy boys, gonna be problematic. We got him. Keep moving along. Oh, so many red hearts. There is mods out there that make it so red hearts do stuff for the lost, but I just think they're all a bit too powerful. They, they do a little bit too much, and obviously you do get a lot of red hearts in a run. Like one of them, I think it makes it so it gives the lost wisps, and I'm like, I like that, but wisps are offensive and defensive, and I think that gives you a lot of power for something like. It's it's just a straight up pretty big buff to the Lost, and it's like I kind of like the Lost being a tough character. I enjoy the Lost. Being, by the way, this guy every single time hits me, so let's try our best to not uh, completely screwed up here. But not this attack, but there's there's one other attack he does where he does like triple shots four times in a row. That attack always hits me, so let's try and watch out for that. Okay, luckily he's actually not doing any of his super hard attacks right now. In fact, this guy was pretty goddamn simple compared to normal. Nice. Okay. Nice and easy. Dude, what's with all the HP? Um, it's decent enough. A little bit of damage, a little bit of range. Don't mind if I do. And let's go to our item room this time. Oh, well, we've been to our item room, actually. Um, one thing we do need to be doing, though, is, is checking for planetariums. At this point, when we have a 21% chance, we might as well be making sure to cover all the floors, just to make sure we didn't miss one, because I, I probably missed quite a few. I always, like, when I get mapping, I'm like, oh, there's a planetarium there, but it's if I hadn't have had mapping, it's a floor I probably would have just left. This is a bit of an annoying room. A lot of these guys... Hopefully we're doing good damage to him. I really want BFF now. I think Demon Baby's already giving us good value and add a little bit of extra uh, 
a little bit of extra damage onto him, and that'd be ace. And, well, I say a little bit. I think it doubles his damage. I don't know if it doubles his range. That'd be good if it did. We did get deep pockets, which I kind of like. Um... Good. You can be a little annoying, but it's fine. Pickle, fuzzy pickle. Every reference item gives you uh, bonus stats. I don't think we need that right now. Yeah, this is what I've been looking for. Oh, good money there, but I've been looking for the cash room because potentially pretty valuable. Pills. Spider unboxing. Not bad. And yeah, we'll check our last room, like I said, just in case. I've just got a note at this point. And also as well, like, there's all the chests and stuff we're getting from room drops, which is pretty valuable. I can't ignore that. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Ooh. This is tricky, because honestly, like, perfection is just insanely good. But telescope lens for an extra 24% chance planetarium chance is really good. But I, th I think, unfortunately, I have to stick with perfection. I think it's just too good not to. But that is very tempting to me, because that would be pretty much a guaranteed planetarium at that point. None this floor. Go to the next floor and see if we get one. Even skipping one item room gives you a pretty good chance of getting one. We're just trying to do, what is it, boss rush and delirium on this run. Uh, boss rush wise, we're definitely on time for it thus far. Good. Deep pockets giving us some good money here as well. I really want a tier effect that's based on luck now. That's the next big thing that I'm hoping for. We're going to start getting bad pills now because we've just seen so many of the good pills that we're likely, if we're taking brand new pills, that they're going to be bad. Good. Chests galore. Ooh, golden penny here. Does waste a bit of time, obviously, going for this, but we do have the extra speed out of combat, which makes it... And, obviously, flight as well, which just makes it a lot better. There you go. Not bad. Don't need that. Get here. Look at my little ghost babies. I love them. A nickel. Dude, dude so much extra money here. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, we could die here. We've got to be very, very careful. I don't know what other enemies are in this room, but I think it's the ghosty boys. It is. Kind of keep your distance from them. There you go. Not so bad. I will buy both. Piggy bank's not so useful. Magician. what it is. Pethra. Very, very nice. That's a guaranteed reroll now. Certainly like a guaranteed reroll over a just a chance. This is depth one, we'll just go do our boss now. Oh, one of the bosses that I absolutely hate. It just takes too long and it's strange and it's not that hard. I mean, I will say the herming shots definitely make things a bit more tricky. Dude, did that guy just like move my bomb out of the way? Just like, it's, it's an interesting idea for like an evolving boss that like changes as you fight it. But at the same time, it's just like tedious a bit. And the white blocks are just annoying. Like this guy's got so little health left, just die. Come on. Dude, just die. What the fuck? Why isn't he dead yet? There you go. Oh my god. Took forever. Don't know what we're getting here, unfortunately. Uh, GMO corn is a bunch of pills. Um, I think that was actually pretty good overall. A golden key in there, which is... Like, not a golden key, but it's a golden key, which I'm very confused by. Sacrificial altar. Ooh. We could get rid of demon... I'm gonna do it. We got rid of demon baby. 
And we got Contract from Below, which is actually probably better. Uh, I'm a little bit upset to see Demon Baby go, because he was doing decently for us. But I was kind of hoping it would take our uh, our other sack as well. But it only took one. Of course, I could have just re-rolled Sacrificial Altar there, but I was like, eh. Give it a go like this, see what happens. These guys are a lot more aggressive than they used to be. They got changed quite. They've, they've had a few, a few reworks. Possum's ear is certainly something I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to re-roll it with Pear Throw though to guarantee a re-roll. And we get hot bombs. Eh, it's fine. Again, I need to be checking my uh, my floor here for potential of uh. I need to be checking my floor here, potential of planetariums. I can't just leave. But yeah, contract from below. Not needed, but pretty good. It means a lot more money coming our way, a lot more bombs, whatever, more chests. It's just, with perfection, it's really good all round. See, this would be a negative pill. No, still getting positive pills. I don't know how, but we're still getting positive pills. Good. I'm liking all the mini Isaacs we're getting at the minute as well. They're doing good. Our Ranger. Nice. Also, yeah, keep forgetting. I'm um, glad I came back to the cash room here. Oh, dude. I did f completely forget about Bosch Rush, though, and we are way past it now. My bad. Oh, well. It is what it is. Ooh, hello. That's uh, not useful at all. <laughs> I was like really excited about that for a second then. I was like, wait a minute. We are the lost. Doesn't matter. No planetarium this floor either. They yeah, missed out on our boss rush, but that's it's fine. It is what it is. Oh, dude, I've got to kill the little flies while sat killing you dudes. Really? Why? This guy can be very annoying, so... Hot bombs him. Right, back we go. Yeah, I did come kind of forget that we were in a bit of a rush to go to Bosch Rush here. It is what it is. It's fine. We can scoot on. We can make it. Only, only minus 11 seconds. Right, let's go. I mean, to be fair, there's a chance we get, like, Mama Mega or something from the shop. You never know. You never know. Unlikely, obviously, but there's a chance. I think we have Mama Mega unlocked. I don't know if Mama Mega is something you need to unlock or not. I see, that's the problem about doing a new save file. There's so many things that I, like, don't know if they exist in our game yet, because I'm not sure if they're just unlocked by default for something we have to unlock. I think, we've statistically, we're in a decent spot at the moment. I would definitely say, like I said, like a tier effect to go along with what we've got going on right now, but... And key is what it is. These guys are well annoying. Still don't really know fully how they work, but I just know that if I keep shooting them, they pop up. We get ourselves Belly Button. Uh, carry two trinkets is actually pretty darn good, I'll take that. And it does drop them for us too. Turns red hearts into coins, um, half hearts into two coins, full hearts into three coins, double. That's actually amazing for us. I know we don't really need the money, but the hearts are just absolutely useless for us, so it's a reasonably good benefit. If we can get like money equals power or something, it'd make it worthwhile, I guess. Careful of this guy. The rain of shots plus not having a holy mantle right now. A little bit scary of a combination. Terrible. Oh, come on now. We did get ghost bombs out of that, though, which is rather nice. And a secret room here as well. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of money. First, I can see we've got deep pockets as well. We are going to have a lot of money. Good. Mr. Sack giving us a dime as well. And getting another dime as well. What the hell? Yeah, we definitely need money equals power in this in this run because 
We are going to be able to get up to above 100 very easily, I would say. I completely forgot that that was going to happen. Luckily, none of it hit me. That was very bad. Let's get behind the rocks. Finish this room off. HP up, not great, but a luck upgrade, rather good. Good. Shop. No money equals power, unfortunately. Cracked key there. Use it here, why not? Sadly didn't yield us anything great, but there you go. I guess that's pretty decent, actually. Now to store an extra charge is pretty good here. Yeah, bombs are actually pretty good now. Having hot bombs plus ghost bombs in one is pretty nice. Give me stealing my single charge. Don't dare. Don't you dare. I still have to go back and check for the planetarium. I know it's unlikely, but I'd feel very upset if I missed one. I'm sure you guys would as well. Rooms like this are so deadly without flight, but luckily, we don't have to worry. Good. Spider unboxing. That doesn't do anything for us. Got ourselves the infinity cable thing here. Okay. Um, we'll definitely play that out, because our money's not going to be super useful after this floor. And we're going to get a lot more of it anyways. We finish off clearing the floors. Ooh, we did get a tainted treasure room there. Happy I came back this way. Don't know what that could be, actually. Not sure what items we have that apply. Um, instead of receiving items after defeating a boss, you gain a permanent flat damage boost. I'm actually going to take that now. I think at this point, that's actually pretty damn good. Um, last chance of getting HP up. So this character, I think it's just really, really good anyways. Um, quickly check this room. We'll play that out. A is what I was looking for as well. Little cash room. Got to kill these guys one at a time, because otherwise it's going to be an entire room full of spiders. And these are the small versions of, the, of these guys, though. Ow. Good hit, my guy. Good hit. Ghost baby. Hello. I will certainly take a ghost baby. Why the hell not? Here we go. Sadly, nothing good. So many soul hearts. My god, but nothing actually good for us. Right, let's play this out. Got one item. Don't even know what the other items are. I'm just going to go for them. Unfortunately, unlucky there. And then I'm going to reroll both. And we get two pretty good items. Uh, we got good, decent fire rates. I'll take Monstro's Lung. And Poison Shot is rather nice too. I like Monstrous Lung. Monstrous Lung is one of those ones, though, where it's like, it can be really good, but your fire rate can really put a damper on it. Like, right now, our fire rate's not not the greatest with it, but I like it a lot, so I just want to take it anyways. Oh, we got to walk into the hearts to, to uh, sell them, I see. I, I thought it would just, like, replace them on spawning. In fact, the Monstrous Lung has probably given us significantly less damage here, because the fire rate down was so huge, but... It is what it is. Pretty brutal fire rate down. From four fire rate down to one. Could have been a little bit more generous, but hey her. But we're doing good damage. We're doing good damage. I was hoping we'd still get the damage up here, but we don't. Um, I guess I'll take the negative, because I'd rather have more damage. More go. I need to make up for my lack of fire rate with, uh, with a lot more damage here. Sadly, nothing really here that we can value too much. Monstro's lung flies, by the looks of it. 
yeah, I'm hoping we just get a fire rate upgrade soon, but obviously we're not going to get one from the boss, so we're really hoping for a devil deal based one. Are you a wizard? I do not think so. Golden supply, I like that. I'll take this glass D6 for a guaranteed reroll as well. Very nice. Just hope we go the right way soonish. Really, you healed right after I hit you. Aha! I was gonna say haha then, like haha, you can't get past me, and then I realized that if he uses a strength card, he can just walk over the rocks. That was a bit scary. This enemy is significantly more difficult than it used to be, so we gotta take that guy out very quickly. We are killing on most things in a single hit though, so that is really, really nice. It's not like our damage doesn't make up for some of it. We've got speed during combat at the minute. We've got nice speed outside of combat, but our speed in combat is not great. We're good, yeah, we're, 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 we're slicing through rooms with relative ease here. Enemies like this are annoying because uh, we're going to take out all the little spiders and I can easily miss them. Hello there, bombs. Like, I'm really actually sort of glad to see a lot of bombs coming our way here. Because hot bombs plus uh, ghost bombs actually does mean we can do quite a lot with them against bosses. Be open in every chest I get, to be honest. Sorry to worry too much about the hearts. I'm hoping this is the right way, but it won't be, will it? Oh, damn, this guy's got a lot of health. Wow. Fire rate sometimes is pressing. What exactly? I was say, what exactly is going on here? I was a little confused about what that enemy was doing there. Ah, oh, another boss I absolutely hate. It's mainly that kidney that I don't like. This this could be a very very swift death here actually. Do you know what? Place down many a hot bomb. There you go. Killed me. God damn. Hate that boss. Urgh. Anyways, unfortunate death there. We're really not doing too well as the lost here, but yeah, that boss, I just... It's the kidney that does the, like, the two little spews. It just always catches me off guard. And then it also, it's just, it's just another one of those Fiend Folio bosses where there's just too much going on. There's too many attacks, too much on screen not enough space to move and it just overwhelms you and as characters like the lost where you don't have much opportunity to get hit like as regular characters it doesn't matter because you are going to take damage probably but you take one damage two damage it's not a big deal but if you take two damage to this guy you're dead unfortunately i did either way hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one